Have you ever used custom post types? If so, let me ask you this question. You have a custom post type and it has its own archive. Let's say you have a custom post type called projects and you have a list of projects and then you also have normal post type posts like your blog, news, whatever. And uh, they have an archive like list of posts. So you go to WP settings and you set the number of posts displayed uh, in the archive and then you go to your projects and you cannot set a different number for your projects, for your custom post types. So uh, how do you do that? Well, if uh, you're using a theme that natively don't have that option, uh, you're in the good hands. Stay tuned, it's coming up. Hi, my name is Mr. Gek and I'm helping you create better websites. So this channel is all about WordPress, Gutenberg and the whole design process. If you're into that, consider subscribing. So here we are in the back end of one of my clients' websites. So uh, you go to settings, you go to reading. Uh, while that is loading, let's go to the, well, let's go to English language here. Uh, so I have I have projects, this is a custom post type and I have news, which is the normal post type. If I go to the news section, you will notice here that the number of news is six. It's six. And here, if we go to the WP settings and to the reading tab, you this is the place where you set blog pages uh, show at most six posts. So the archive for blog pages will be six posts at most. So this is what we have here, six posts. But if you go to the projects, let's open it in a new tab. If we go to the projects, you will notice here uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine projects because I have a lot more projects than news and uh, these projects, they are designed, uh, the grid looks smaller than in news it makes more sense to show more on the screen. Six would be very few uh, when it looks like this. So nine is fine. But since I'm using Cadence Team, they still don't have uh, a lot of support for the archives and all of that. Uh, actually, we're, we proposed a, a feature request that they add more control for each archive. Like, like they, they do have, uh, if you go to the customizer, uh, you have a blog posts and you can edit single post layout, you can edit archive layout, and you can do the same for custom post type. Projects layout, projects archive. Projects is my custom post type. So you have lots of options, but we are actually proposing that they add, like if you have multiple custom post types, that uh, you can have multiple uh, multiple different uh, edits for layouts and archives and all of that. But if you go to the projects archive here, there's nothing I can do. Like for, for these projects, there's nothing here I can do to modify the number of projects uh, that I want to set. Of course, using Cadence Team, I could go ahead and use the post grid or portfolio grid and set the number of posts there. But then I have a different problem. See, here in the projects, I have this search and filter, which only will work with the archive display, not uh, with some custom block uh, with Cadence, uh, at least not to my knowledge. So I had issues with that. So I had to use archives. So if you're like me, if you have to use, if you want to use archive for some purpose, uh, then uh, you cannot use Cadence blocks or if you're using some theme that doesn't have uh, this post grid or portfolio grid block uh, like Cadence does where you can uh, set the number uh, of posts displayed there for any post type, uh, then you have a problem. So how do we do that? We can just set it here. This is native to WordPress. You, can, you can't do anything about it if your theme doesn't support it. So what do we do? Well, uh, in one of my previous videos, I have spoken about using a child theme and why you should use a child theme. I'll link it up in the card above and in the description below. So I talked about why would you need a child theme and how, how, what, what does a child theme consist of? So here, if we go to the theme editor, uh, we will be able to browse the code for the child theme. So here we have style CSS from the Cadence child 
and uh, we have this file functions PHP file and it's actually this file uh, this is added uh, by default from the theme. This is this function you add uh, if you want to embed uh, the style CSS in uh, from your uh, child theme uh, into the mix. And uh, yeah, so don't be overwhelmed with all this code. Uh, actually, the, the thing that we just said above is just added with the child theme itself. What we actually need uh, for, for this uh, customization is only this part of code. This Only this part of code, this tiny little code, will enable us to have different number of projects displayed and different number of news displayed here. So uh, I will now, in a very basic level, explain what this does. So if you need to modify, I'll, I'll link this code in the description below, if you need to modify something uh, for yourself so you can know what each part does. So. First, I have uh, this function. You can name the function however you want. Just keep keep in mind when you then add action, uh, it needs to have that same function name. So function is taking 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 an argument. This is how functions work. They take something and then do something with it, and then they return something or just keep it modified overall. So. Uh, I just have one check, an if statement. If some con conditions are met, do this, and if not, then just leave it as is. No, no changes. So, if, so this first part, so we have one part, second check, and the third check. And these three checks have this end, end. Uh, this means, uh, so in logical statements, you have or or end. So end means, all of these conditions have to be met and or means either one of those can be met and it if statement will be valid. So for this one, all three of these statements need to be valid in order for the uh, if statement to give me uh, give me grant to execute the code inside if statement. So uh, this first part is checking are we doing something for the admin interface or the front end. So uh, this means if it's not for the admin interface. Also, if uh, now we're going into the query, query is actually, in this case, the query will be taking, it's fetching posts from, from, uh, from the database. It's what it does. And here with this action, we define that it will fetch posts, pre-get posts. So uh, this is on a very basic level, so yeah. Uh, don't nitpick it if if uh, if you know more about this. Uh, this is just uh, I'm I'm not for non techies here, but the the thing is uh, I'm I'm showing a little code but trying to explain it as simple as possible. Now the second one, uh, it's going into the query and is uh, it's checking if if it's the main query, the query that will take the post. So yeah, uh, if if this is the main query and then also uh, is post type archive projects. So this one checks is uh, the post type archive called projects. So here actually what you can do is uh, you can have multiple of these codes and then name one projects, other one and so on. So you can have for each custom post type different number of posts displayed. So that's what you can do. Uh, so if all these three conditions are met, then uh, go into the query and set the parameter posts per page to nine. So when it's, it sets this parameter to nine, then it will, wh when we have the main query, well, well, well it, uh, when it fetches the posts, uh, it will have this setting applied posts per page nine, and it will tell it to display nine instead of six. So, uh, what we did now, instead of the default option that's in the uh, WordPress options, uh, we hijacked that and actually set that parameter from 6 to 9 if it's projects. Does that make any sense? So this is actually what the child theme is for exactly. If you can't do something with native WordPress and native theme options, then you add these things, little actions, little filters, little functions and modify things here and there. So in case, uh, 
in case you want to go and uh, have more of these, like you can add more and have like, uh, let's say, uh, projects, then maybe something else like, I don't know, books or, or uh, uh, employees, whatever. Uh, and then set that differently. Let's set this one to eight or 12, let's say. So this is how you can have multiple post types and uh, have multiple post types uh, produce different uh, different number of, of, of posts in, in their uh, respective archives. So uh, this is it, this is it. So you can you can modify this. Let me actually, let me actually change this number. Let me change it to 12 and let's update the file. Let's do that. Let's let's see if it works if this really does what it's supposed to do. So uh, okay, file edit is success. By the way, if you're doing edits in in here in in the theme editor or plugin editor, uh, in these when you edit the code, if I have a syntax uh, like typo syntax error typo, uh, you may be locked out of your WordPress, you may need to regain access from the server side. So always have access to the server if you're going to edit one of these files. Now, uh, let's reload the news. Okay, I may be able, I may need to reload the cache, I'm not sure. Okay, no need to reload 36912. You see 12. So easy as that, easy as that. So I'll link this code in the description below. If you need to do this for the Cadence theme or any other theme, uh, be my guest. So uh, if you like this video, if you like what I do, hit that thumbs up, share it if you can with people who may benefit from this and uh, see you in one of my next videos.